right, so in this episode of Lowrider Hydraulic Tips, I'm going to show you how to ground a motor. First thing you're going to want to do is remove the bolts that hold the motor on. You got your two right here and right here. You're going to want to slide it back and just pull it off, which will look something like this. You got your key which is right there. Sometimes it'll hold on to right there. So you get your key, don't lose that. All right, so now you're gonna wanna stand this thing up and just slide it out, just pull up on it with the bolts being out, obviously. So you're gonna wanna pull it out so it slides out, just pretty simple. All right, so now you're gonna see your positive post right here and you're gonna want to drill a hole in between right about here just big enough for the bolt to go through and secure itself all right so now that i have drilled the hole through it should be pretty much in line with your positive post and should look something like this in between the two something like that all right so now before you go any further you're going to want to take something simple like carb cleaner and brake cleaner something simple like this Take that and you're gonna want to spray the inside of it out for the most part, just to try to get those metal shavings out. Uh, you do not want those in there. So once you spray with carb cleaner or something like that, it'll take a little, little bit for it to completely dry out. So give it roughly 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour before you install this and start using it. But so uh, now that we've got the nut, uh, bolt through there and the nut on, you're gonna wanna tighten that down real, real tight. So. This is, uh, this is going to be your grounding of your motor here. So you're gonna put it on there and obviously you'll probably wanna use some lock washers, uh, but just for simplicity's sake, that is basically how you do it. So now the point to all this uh, to ground your motor is to help, uh, help with grounding. Better grounding always means better. Um, when you ground the motor, your motor doesn't get as hot, it performs better, it won't burn out as quickly. It, there's, there's so many benefits to grounding your motor itself. Just relying on the block to ground your motor isn't always a good idea, especially when you start running higher uh, voltage. This particular motor isn't gonna be on really high voltage, but it is gonna be six batteries. So that's why I'm going ahead and doing it. Plus it's for my son's car and obviously I don't want it to blow up on him. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do some precautions just to make sure that it, you know nothing happens. I'm not gonna go over it on this video, but there is also, uh, you can build motors, which basically consists of uh, taking, your, taking this internal piece out and uh, covering it with JB Weld, similar to how a wire has uh, some sort of uh, coating on the on the wire itself. It's very similar, so which also helps it to uh, stay insulated and not uh, not get as hot and not burn up. So anyway, we're not going over that on this video. So I'm going to do my best to um, position this camera to show you how to put the centerpiece back in this motor because it is kind of a bitch. Okay, so it's physically impossible for me to hold my phone and uh, put this motor back together. Anyway, so here's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to take these, push them back as far as you can get them. You'd have to take, sometimes it's easier if you have two people, but you push these back as far as possible, all four of them. Push them back and they have to slide over this portion of this right here. So once you get it on there, it'll slide right down. But the nightmare of it is to hold it and do it all at once now i can do it by myself but i can't do it holding my phone so that's what i'm gonna do here all right so it should look like this once you get it back together just like that all right so now once it's together like that that's not fully together you got to make sure everything lines up so you can see how this down here is not in the right spot so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to twist it just a little bit to get it to snap into place which i can't hold the bottom in place and video at the same time so as you can see just try twisting it around and it'll snap into place you can see these grooves right there those are what actually goes around and slides into place so 
So once you get it in line, it'll just pop right into place just like that. Same thing for your top piece. You've got a groove right here that has the groove right here that slides directly on. So you just put it in place, which the other, the black caps have got something similar to that as well. All right, now that I got the, everything back together, uh, it's ready to go back on the pump. Uh, so that took me a grand total of about 10 to 15 minutes to ground it. So the question then comes in, where do you actually ground this piece? Well, you'll want to pick a different spot than um, most of your other spots. So like, let's say that, that uh, you mount it directly to the pump rack, uh, right where the uh, pump meets the rack. So basically you have a short uh, battery cable for about, let's call it uh, 6 to 12 inches uh, long, just grounding it to the uh, battery rack and pump rack. That, that's going to be a real good source. Just make sure that wherever you mount it, uh, that it is to bare metal so it gets a good ground. Put this motor back on. You'll want to put these in, and as far as how tight, uh, you're going to want them snug. You don't want to over tighten them. Uh, they're just holding it to the actual uh, block there, so it's not like it's crazy, like you have to do anything super over tight or anything, obviously. Now, not that I thought that I would need to say this, but it dawned on me that I probably should. That you are putting a second nut on here that is where you sandwich your cable. You do not loosen the first one. That one is tight to the the uh, casing there. So anyway, so uh, put your little lock washer right there and then tighten her down.